Hello, Facebook Live. Hi, everybody. It's Jamie and Marcus here. And um, happy uh, Memorial Day weekend to everybody. And uh, what do you want to talk about, honey? <laughs> yeah, everybody have a fantastic weekend. Um, hopefully the weather will hold out. And uh, people can get out, be active, be with uh, friends and family on a... Uh, social distance. <laughs> on a safe social distancing and uh, be able to connect with people safely. Uh, we are going for a run right now down in the Goshen area and uh, we're going to social distance and run. The van is packed. We're taking the van today because it's packed. We have some deliveries to do. Uh, so from our grocery items, we have a lot of steaks back there and a lot of things to, a few things to deliver this morning uh, to some people, which worked out good. So... Uh, we are just going to go out for, I think, a 5K, 5K. 5K run this morning and uh, that. And um, we have a lot of inventory right now uh, on items. Corn on the cob is coming today, Ooh. bicolored corn. Uh, we have a new rosé that comes in a box that's very, very cool. A Portuguese rosé that's really an awesome rosé at an amazing value. So if anyone wants a three liter box of rosé, you put it in your refrigerator. The shelf life on box wines, by the, by the way, folks, is 45 days. Um, because when you pop that open um, and the way the bag starts shrinking as you, as you uh, keep pouring wine, uh, it allows no oxygen, no air into the wine bottle. There's no bottle, it's a bag. So it just keeps shrinking. And that's why boxed wines will last 45 days. No oxidation. And I think there's a misconception too on boxed wines. There that they're is. They're cheap and they're no good, um, but that's not the case. <laughs> a lot of boxed wines are great quality, amazing quality. One thing people don't understand is most wines that are made, 95% of wines, over 90% of wines are designed to drink young. You don't age 90%, 95% of the wines. But people think, oh, you know, I bought this bottle of, you know, California Pinot Noir. It's five years old. It should be better. Chances are it's not. Ooh, the rain's coming in here. We're driving past the Middletown exit, and it is raining, and we're going out for a run. Um, so uh, the rain doesn't stop us so usually. Um, it's not me. <laughs> so what else? We have a lot of ground beef in. Our grass-fed supplier got us like 60, 70 pounds of ground beef. We've already awesome. sold... They come in one pound package. We've sold a lot already. And uh, venison, ground venison came in. Right now it's in five pound packages of ground venison. Maybe we'll repack it and, That's and we're reseal be it. Sharing, yes. Yeah. Um, we have ribeyes, we have strip steaks. Yes. We have, um, what else? We have chicken. Uh, so, a delivery calling. Another delivery. Deliveries are showing up at the Hello? restaurant right now. So uh, we are, uh, before the phones, when we're not at the restaurant. Most of a lot. Sometimes, sometimes when you call us, and Jamie was like, "Well, we're There's out two on a bike ride." So it's like, um, hold, hold on one second. There's two balsamics. Send them both. Send them both back. Send them both. Yeah. Yep. Send them both back. No necesito. Yeah, no necesito. So there's a delivery getting dropped off right now at the restaurant. Um, Hello. So. No necesito. Was an extra item on the invoice that I wasn't wasn't sure I okay. needed, so I ordered it uh, anyway. So we're um, in the process of of because we rolled out the new menu, we're in the process of having a couple different types of balsamic balsamics. Balsamics are amazing. A lot of people think, oh, balsamic. You know, you get you know, balsamics are like olive oils, um, aging differences characteristics, the way you reduce the, the grape juice, how long you cook it for, how much you reduce it. Uh, there's two traditional types or two types of, of balsamic. I've talked about both of them. Um, and then there's balsamics that aren't really balsamics because they're not made in Modena, uh, which is the in Emilia Romagna, which is the, the capital of balsamic vinegar. That's where it's allowed to be produced in through Viola and, and Modena. Jamie and I were there a couple of years ago. Uh, balsamic visited. is amazing. Balsamic Just is amazing. the process of making it it's yes. really amazing. So the new menu has some specific balsamics for specific dishes based upon the acidity and the process that it's being made. So we're literally going to have three or four different types of balsamics. Cool. So you use a different balsamic for cheese, for fresh mozzarella, as you would use for risotto or for lettuce greens, for salad greens. Yummy. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a little technical on that. It's a lot oh, of fun. I forgot about the new dressings that we got. Oh, yes. 
We had to make that. They're not on the menu yet. Not on the menu, but they but will they be coming. Will be. So we got some vegan um, Caesar dressing and vegan blue cheese dressing. We've never bought salad dressing. Never. We've always we've made, never right? bought salad dressing for the restaurant, but we now bought Follow Your Heart vegan Caesar. So excited. And the vegan blue cheese. So any of our plant-based friends out there. Uh, which is another option for our plant-based foods. We serve a lot of vegetarian and vegan food, as well as steaks and seafood. If you know the restaurant, you know that. So um, if anybody has a dairy allergy and they want the wings with a non-dairy blue cheese, we have that. Yummy. Uh, so that's great. And the Caesar, we're gonna do a vegan Caesar on the menu. So folks, the menu, we launched this new menu, and it's in baby steps how, we're la how we launch this. It's not complete yet, but we're, we're rolled it out. A lot of positive feedback on it so far. Well, we wanted to get people used to the way that we're doing it, right? The way right. that we're, you know, step by step. So, you know, we just launched the menu on Thursday. Thursday. And um, so it's tapas style. So the burgers now do not come with anything. You add on what you'd like right. with the burger. Um, so we lowered prices. Lower prices. The burger is good news because we, not only do we lower the price, but very soon, by Monday or Tuesday, the burger's gonna be bigger. A little bigger, right? A little bigger. We added, we added another ounce of beef onto it. And we're gonna go to a pretzel bun. Oh, I'm so excited. So the burger is gonna be like, wow. The chickpea burger, we increased the, the, the portion size by almost uh, almost two ounces we increased wow. the portion size. The ones we served last night, I don't know if you saw them, but they're like, cause the, 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 the pretzel bun is bigger than our buns right now. So we had to fill the bun up with more chickpea burger and more ground beef. And the buns are vegan. Buns buns are vegan, right. GMO and certified, wow, GMO free. The flavor in them are it's really good. I yep. can't wait to taste it with the uh, with If the you're burger. stuck on the sprouted buns cuz the sprouted we'll buns still keep some, right? we'll have some around. Nutritionally speaking, the sprouted bun is nutritionally superior. Uh, organic sprouted grains. It's it's an amazing product. We'll still have that around. Um, we added mussels onto our menu. Um, we did a 1 pound portion. We're fooling around now with a two pound portion for like $19.99, which is gonna be an amazing deal. And we're looking at these serving pots uh, that we cook it in the pot and you can flip it over, it's two pieces, you can put your shells in. So we're looking at doing um, doing that. Uh, so yeah, so we're just being creative, innovative, offering more things, lowering our prices, and uh, having some fun. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, to start training people now and our staff, um, so just bear with us. Right, we're bringing, call, we're bringing we're bringing staff, staff back. back, and so if you've called in the last like ten weeks, eleven weeks, her and I have answered the phone, and we're the only ones that have taken orders. Or Justin, or, or Justin. Son. Now some staff is taking orders, so just bear with us because we're training them with the new system. They have never seen groceries in the, in the <laughs> restaurant before. So yeah, just just be patient with us, um, and um, hopefully we'll get open here soon. I, I did hear something, right? About, I did too. Uh, Governor Cuomo making um, some changes in the Hudson Valley and getting us open soon. So let's see what happens. That, that'd be awesome. Um, hope everybody's having a great day. So far, we know it's early. Um, I know there's rain supposed to be coming in, but it's not raining now. You know, now it's not raining, but uh, hopefully you'll get to enjoy the day, get some planting done, get out, hike, bike, do something outdoors. So thank you everybody for watching. We appreciate yep. everybody. If you're watching. going hiking, you want a beverage? We have these great 100 calorie like spritzers, sparkling beverages that are amazing, two chicks. That will travel well. Travel well in, in your backpack when you go hiking. Um, some people like to celebrate when they hike and sit down and relax and have, have a drink. Uh, remember what you take into the forest, please remove from the forest. Uh, Mother Nature does not like litter and neither do the other people that are hiking out there. And the trails are packed right now. Uh, Cheryl mom. got some yesterday and she said, oh my God, they are amazing. Awesome, Cheryl. Yes. And Cheryl, I will save that box for you as well of those glasses. So Cheryl brought, bought some wine glasses yesterday. So um, I will save those for you. Um, yeah, so these drinks, uh, two chicks, they're nice, they're refreshing, they're light. Um, they're, they're Beautiful cans. I think the cans yes. are beautiful. Yes, cans are, the artwork is really yeah. cool. And don't forget, I don't think Marcus has talked about this yet, but we released our new IPA. Oh. Our new IPA pack, the Fail Me Out yep. Marcus IPA pack. Uh, there is some amazing beers in there. Uh, we're at a point where we don't even need to advertise the beers anymore. Because these, these, there's such a demand on these IPA four packs. The, all the beers every week are different and they're really high quality beers. Um, so King Sue is in this week. 
which if you know it's King's hundred point, point it's beer. hundred point beer. It's a double IPA. Um, looks good. Yeah, people walk in, they don't care what's in it because they know yeah. it's high quality and they know it's limited. It's nineteen ninety nine. If you were to buy those beers in the restaurant normally, you'd pay thirty two dollars or more for those beers in the restaurant. So it comes at a great price reduction, and people like to experiment with IPAs. So every week. We have to juggle three separate distributors and figure out what IPAs are fresh and hot, really good IPAs, and then mix the packs and make our yeah. own four packs. They're awesome. So, um, if you buy those four packs from us, those top plastic rings, if you want to save them, we can reuse them so they don't get thrown in the garbage or recycle bin. We can actually keep reusing those. Yes. So, if you have those, bring them back in. We're happy to reuse them. Um, reusing is better than recycling any day. Yep. Is this the exit we're getting off? We're getting off here, yes. Okay. So, I hope everybody is uh, doing good out there today. I hope you got some plans for the weekend. It's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow. I really Monday. can't see who's on. I see uh, Hi Brian. Hi Brian. Hi uh, let's Brian, see. you'd enjoy our IPA four packs. Um, 1999 for uh, four IPAs every week. We've had Focal Banger in there. We've had uh, two uh, Heady Dopper. We've had some LIC. We have uh, uh, King Sue this week in there. You'd really appreciate what we're doing in those, in those Ryan. Um, I know Denny was on. I saw Denny's name pop up. Hello, Denny, and everybody else who's tuning in. So, yeah, thank you very much, uh, Marcus and I. If you were just um, tuning in, we are on our way to a run. We're doing a run this morning. Uh, get out there. Uh, we like to get out early on Saturdays and Sundays because we have so much going on um, all uh, all day. Um, hopefully, I'll get my Facebook Live in today. I'd love to uh, do a happy hour with Jamie at 4. Good morning, Jamie Marcus. Great Riesling. Awesome, Mary Grace. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Um, you had the Fulkerson uh, Riesling. Uh, so that is from the Finger Lakes. That is a really nice Riesling. Awesome. Yeah. They've been in business since the early 70s, Fulkerson. They were one of the first vineyards. Uh, on Lake Seneca and the first in the Finger Lakes. And they've seen a lot of changes and growth in the Finger Lakes. Great family, great wine, everything they make, and it's, it's usually at a great price. Awesome. Well, let's uh, let's sign off. Um, groceries, if you want to order groceries from us, um, email me at info at aromatimebistro.com. Make sure you call me or you get a response from me, uh, making sure that I got your email. Um, groceries are available. We have ribeyes, we have strip steaks, we have shrimp, we have scallops, we have calamari, all of that stuff. Great weekend to um, cook at home. Um, also, we, today is our barbecue chicken. It's our $9.99 barbecue chicken. We also have our new tapas menu available, so go online, check it out on our website, and um, we're going to sign off so that well, we can... Uh, I was One last thing. I was oh, told sure. yesterday that the New York State Restaurant Association is lobbying really heavily right now to get outside dining approved for restaurants. So okay. places with, with sidewalk seating, with gardens, with backyards, things like that, they're trying to get that legally approved so uh, for social distance dining get, outside. Get takeout and go sit outside or? Uh, I believe for, for full service okay. is what the restaurant, that's what the restaurant association okay. wants. Okay. So maybe that might help the restaurants. That'll help us because we have a beautiful back garden. Yes, yes. Uh, and any restaurants with sidewalk seats and hopefully that'll help. In New York City, people are just congregating outside the doors of restaurants. Yeah. I mean, they're just, they're getting outside. drinks and just loitering outside. Which I, I, yeah. So, and a lot of these New York City restaurants have sidewalk seats yeah and there should be no reason why you can't socially distance outside they're outside anyway people have to walk to a restaurant you know they're outside they're from their car to the restaurant so hopefully that hopefully will happen we'll have some news on, on that kind of yeah, stuff yeah yeah um, so. so when we do that we'll have a party in the, <laughs> in the, in the garden can't have a party <laughs> <laughs> social distance <laughs> um, all right everybody have, uh, have a great day enjoy and uh, hopefully we'll see some of you soon so thanks again have a great day